After ceasing to exist for the last couple of months, the Red Sox are finally breathing. Finally, and it's in a big way. Before the offseason began, after the team hired former pitcher and former Cubs front office guy Craig Breslow to replace Heim Bloom as the chief baseball officer, Red Sox chairman Tom Werner vowed that the Red Sox would go full throttle to improve the team. Full throttle. And those two words have become a running joke amongst the fan base now, considering the Red Sox have done anything but full throttle to improve this team. There's been as little throttle as possible, while the fourth place Yankees go get Juan Soto, and everyone else in the division is already expected to be good. Now, as good as Juan Soto is, he's one guy on a one year deal. I mean, this doesn't mean the Yankees are about to run the league. It's a good start to maybe do that, but there's a lot more to do for them. But at least they've done something. The Red Sox did nothing until last night when they signed Lucas Giolito to a two-year deal worth $38.5 million. Now, compared to what they've been expected to spend, this is like the biggest contract ever for Boston, but in reality, it's actually not that crazy because it's a short-term deal that has the possibility to only last one year because of an opt-out. Not much risk for commitment. Yeah, $19 million a year isn't nothing, but again, this is still mostly a risk-free contract and on par with the small market way the Red Sox have been operating. Even agents and players have been saying that. There are reports that agents are wondering why the Red Sox are acting like a small market team. It's really annoying, but hey, at least they got someone who people know his name. Like, damn. Well, they then just made the biggest trade of the offseason. I want to take a second to appreciate the 140 plus thousand subscribers and the 67% who haven't subscribed yet. You're always welcome, although I hope you leave that 67%. I don't know how you reacted to this most recent trade between the Red Sox and Braves that sent Chris Sale to Atlanta in exchange for infielder Von Grissom. The Red Sox will also be sending money to the Braves to partly pay for Sale. And when I found out about this trade, I said no way out loud loud at a train station. I think that's what I said. Maybe I said something louder and crazier. But the point is, I was shocked, and I know damn well I'm not the only one. I wasn't necessarily shocked because of the trade in itself. It was just weird seeing Chris Sale getting traded. Him being on the Red Sox for seven years now has just naturally gotten me used to it, so seeing him become a brave out of nowhere was just weird. Right away, to me, this deal seems like a very lopsided win for the Red Sox. They're trading away Chris Sale, who's nowhere near what he used to be and hasn't been for several years now. He's very injury prone, and even if he was amazing. There's only one year left on his contract, although there is a team option for 2025, so the Braves can decide themselves to keep him if they want him beyond next season. But they're getting a broken down Chris Sale while the Red Sox get Grissom, a 22 year old who hasn't even qualified as a rookie yet, so he has six full years of team control. So to me, it's a lopsided trade the Red Sox won that the Braves simultaneously didn't lose. What I mean by that is that the Red Sox get a young and controllable infielder who cracked the top 100 prospect list at one point while getting rid of Sale, who hasn't been that productive the last few years, so they benefit greatly from this. The Braves didn't necessarily lose though because Sale isn't a commitment to them at all. They're were given money to help pay his contract. If he sucks, they don't bring him back for 2025 and they don't need Von Grissom. This is a team that just had arguably the greatest offensive season ever, and Grissom had nothing to do with that, so they saw this as an opportunity to take a flyer on sale helping the rotation, something they needed. And it's not a big risk, actually. So I like this, for both sides, I really do, but especially for Boston. It's sad to see Sale go, it's bittersweet. His first two years in Boston will forever be remembered. 2018 obviously was insane, and he was the man to solidify that championship. But he really hasn't been impactful since, which is crazy to think about, it's been that long. Tommy John knocked him out so he couldn't pitch it all for a year and a half and sure he's had his moments but after all the injuries he's had and just him not looking like Chris Sale out there even when he is seemingly healthy I don't think it's a bad strategy at all to move on from him in exchange for a really young hitter who you have for six years so I guess it just works out for both sides in the end but whatever happens in Atlanta Sale will always be a Red Sox legend let me know what you think thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video